Mistake number two is hiring the wrong people. And so here's how that shows up. So that entrepreneur, hard charging, great product, great service, sells a few, business starts to grow, they reach capacity and they need a body. They got to get help into this organization. And so what they tend to do is grab the closest body to them. And so they hire their brother, their sister, their mom, their dad, their cousin, their best friend, and throw them into the business. That frees up some capacity. They go forward, keep growing, and then they need another body. And so they grab another body as close as they can to them and grow and grow and grow. So you get to a point where all of a sudden you've got this successful business with two, five, 10, 50 people. And all of a sudden, they're not the right people. And it doesn't feel right. And there's no culture. And then you've got to do a little bit of house cleaning. And so just as I mentioned, when we bring these clients into the process, and they've made this critical mistake, one of the first things we're doing is we're helping them upgrade their people. We're helping them get the wrong ones out. And so the way you avoid this mistake is two really simple things. The first thing you do is you figure out what your core values are. And there's a great simple way to do it. There are these wonderful core value cards by an organization called Think to Perform. You can buy them for a few bucks online. 52 cards in a 15 minute exercise, you will literally discover your core values. And I've done it with so many people, it's magic. And so once you know those core values, the second thing you have to do is have an org chart. You've got to, even if it's just you, one person show, you have to have an org chart that illustrates who runs the company, what the major functions are, sales, marketing, operations, finance. And when you reach that capacity and you need a body, you need to, with that org chart, decide what seat you're filling so the responsibility is crystal clear and you need to hire for that skill set. And so again, the way you solve this as you go forward is now when you need that body, you bring somebody into the organization that is a match with those core values, is a match for that job that you need to fill, then all of a sudden you've hired the right person and forward you go and do that every single time you hire someone and you won't have to clean up a mess two, three, five years from now.